Well, this seems this seems like you're definitely gonna get this one of the last three picks in a pack. <laughs> yeah, I think this is probably a build more of a build around card, or like specific definitely. to the zombie deck. Yep. Let's call it like a build around C. Like it's good value, but only in zombies. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this one a D plus. <laughs> yeah, that's reasonable. I think yeah. in the zombies deck, you're happy to have this, but yeah, for sure. But otherwise... I think even in the zombies decks, you don't want like more than you want two tops. Mm -hmm. You know exactly. How do you feel about six mana removal spells, Greg? Uh, I love them as long as they're instants. <laughs> <laughs> what if they're sorceries, Greg? <laughs> I don't like them so much. What if they make your opponent? Uh, what if they drain your opponent for two? I like it a lot more now. That sounds like a curve topper to me. Yeah. You know, nice, I don't nice love little it. aggro, nice little aggro draw, and be like, oh, I just needed that two <sighs> points. There it is. Yeah, I like I this. I, if this thing costs five, I'd love it, though. Yeah, if this costs five, it'd be really good. Six is another two turns more than five mana, though, usually. Six is, six is a lot, yeah. Yeah, it's like a turn and a half beyond five mana. Yep. I don't know. We could call it, like, a C, because this is, this is it is removal. For sure. This like, is a straight-up C. Like, it blows up anything, but, yeah. If it, if it drained three, it'd be a C plus. Yeah. Oh, if it drained three, I, I'd probably play multiple copies. Three's a lot, but... You think so? Um, yeah, yeah, that's Yeah, good. I guess actually three is a lot. Three's yeah, a that's lot. true. Um, and it does have Slenderman in the background. That's a good point from chat. Slenderman? <laughs> Who's it's, that? <laughs> uh, it's a meme, I think. Oh, okay. Uh, from, from the old days of the internet. The uh, old days of the internet. Um, yeah, yeah, this is just definitely a C. Expensive, but playable. That's all we gotta say. Next, collective brutality. See, this is where Escalate uh, gets tricky because there are seven possible ways to cast this card. Um, well, it's one in black for sorcery, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. in order to Escalate it, you discard a card. So, if you want to cast all three modes, you have to discard two cards, but you're still only paying two mana, which mm. is interesting as a madness enabler. Now, black has almost no madness. Um, I think there's maybe one or two madness spells in black but red has a lot so this gets better in a black red deck because red yeah. has like seven or eight madness cards i think mm -hmm. um so it still works there um in any case the first mode is target creature gets minus two minus two that's probably the most common um you can also duress your opponent kind of with instant sorceries only. So it doesn't hit planeswalkers or artifacts or enchantments, but you know, still most things it'll hit. Mm -hmm. um, or you could drain your opponent for two. This card so, seems top notch. Yeah, I mean, it's good. Um, I think it's probably a B. Um, I don't think it's higher we're, than a B. We're only talking limited, right? Only yeah, limited. we're just talking limited. If we're talking yeah. constructed, this card gets, well, this, guess, this, card yeah. will, this card will see a bunch of play, for sure. You think so? Uh, yeah. I don't know. Because minus two, minus two is the best mode. The top mode, it's not that good against most decks. Right? Well, well do, I mean, I think, uh, isn't Vampire Madness supposed to be an actual deck right now? Is it? I don't know. I, I feel like with all these, isn't that what the point of this card? Probably. It's like they're building that. Yeah. yeah, but in that case, then we're talking turn four or five, and mm -hmm, you're not mm -hmm. actually getting all that much value out of it. Yeah, maybe so not. I, I don't know. I, it'll definitely see some play. I don't think it'll see a lot, though. Either way, in limited, this is good. I think it's probably like a B minus or a B. Um, the problem is yeah. that the first mode and the third mode are not that relevant. Are there madness cards in this set? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, red has a lot. Black has only one or two, though. That's what I was saying. So... I mean, if you can drain Madness something out and minus two, minus two, I mean, that's that's a huge turn. Yeah, it's, so, it's awesome. It's true. It's, I don't, I, you need a lot to make it work. I agree with you. I think it's a B. Yeah. It's not A range by any stretch. Yeah, def definitely range. not. I think we could call like a B minus or B. Yep. Solid, very flexible. Okay, next. Um, We have Crypt Breaker. Ooh, people are raving about this for Constructed. Um, so it's one black for a 1-1 one, one zombie. Oh, boy. Uh, and it's basically Deadbird Shaman. I mean, not really, but pay two mana and tap it and discard a card. So three costs, sort of. Put a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Um, and then you can tap three zombies to draw a card and lose one life. That's what a if, lot of upside. 
<laughs> this is this is a straight, <laughs> this is a straight up A for me. This is fantastic. Um, I want to call this in the the ability is sorcery speed too or instant speed, both of them. This is a straight up A. I think it's like a B plus or A minus. I don't think it's like a straight A because discarding card is a very severe cost. Like if you're menacing, it's an advantage, but like it's still pretty serious. Well, I mean, number one, you never flood. That's never going to happen, right? True. Yes, very so true. So that's sweet. Yeah. And the second ability is absurd. You're going to yep. regain your cards. That's absurd. Yeah, if you have three zombies, it's true. And the zombie's not coming into play tap. What is this card? Well, you have to tap the Crypt Breaker to get the zombies in. This is still absurd, though. Yeah, yeah. The only problem is that it dies to literally every piece of removal in the format. But it's a one drop. It is. It is. Ridiculous. This card's yeah. insane. It's... Similar in some ways to like oh shit what was the card, uh the 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 Dragon Master Outcast in in some ways, like yeah, yeah. I think Dragon Master Outcast is better than this though don't you think? Oh for sure it's way better because the second you drop yeah. that the game was over if you couldn't kill it but I mean this thing I mean you're gonna get so much value off this card that it, it needs to be killed. I I agree I just think it's not quite A range though I think it's well I think it's like low A range I don't think it's like a straight A. Like, if we're talking A's, we're talking, oh, I don't know, like Archangel Avacyn was an A+, plus, or the new... So, so A's are really things that you're saying they A's end are, the game quickly, just like yeah, the game's like going to be over. Yeah, like, they warp the game. This is a great value creature, but it doesn't really warp the game. Like, you're going to get probably an average of a card, like, probably two cards out of this, but I don't think it's, on average, going to give you more than two cards. Okay, fair enough. So, I think it's like an A-, minus though. I don't think you're, like, way off base. Mm -hmm. We can call it like an A minus A to compromise. That's fair. Okay. Sounds good. Great value. I mean, you're not going to get more out of, of a one drop, that's yeah, for sure. Yeah, for a one drop, definitely. All right, Dark Salvation, XX Black. What do you think this does? Uh, I always hate XX cards. It sounds like a, <laughs> it sounds like a drain card. Let me look at the list here. Not quite. Uh -huh. I, it's actually pretty playable, I think. Target player. This is very oh. playable. So. Oh wow. Yeah. So XX black hand removal. Mm. Yep. Target player puts X two two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield. Then up to one creature gets minus one minus one until end of turn for each zombie that that player controls. And the wording on it is a little clunky, but basically it says you get zombies and your opponent's creature gets minus one minus one equal to the number of zombies you have. Um. So this is really good. Uh, yeah, the word, like the most is really weird on it, yeah. but yeah. I think most of the time you're casting it for five mana. You're getting two black zombies, and you're probably Somebody's minus... Minus two, minus two. Probably minus three, minus three, given how mm -hmm. many zombies there are. So it, assuming you have another zombie, you're minus three, minus three, and get two twos, or two two twos. Yeah. I mean, but if you're paying seven mana for it, then, you know, you get two, uh, three two twos. Like, this just... I love how this scales. Yeah, it scales um, very nicely. Yeah. I think that this is pretty close to an A if it's not an A. Uh, okay. I, think, I mean, would you want to run two in your deck? Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. This gets better in multiples. <laughs> it does. It does. But they cost five, basically. Yeah, I agree with you on five. Right, right. But they cost five. So, I mean, it, would you... If you oh man, if you had two, it'd be so good. I think B, this is a B plus or an A minus. B plus A minus, agreed. Yeah, this is like that range. Agreed. It doesn't deal with your opponent's gigantic creature, but you do get a bunch of chumpers too. So Phyresis wants to run four of them. Please run four against me. <laughs> you think so though? In limited, would you want to run against four of these? Yes. I wouldn't. I'll I definitely play, I'll, wouldn't. I'll play one ones and two twos. You run those things. Oh, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> but then at that point they play two of them for three mana and then the other two for five mana and you're fucked that's true that's i don't know true. i think this card's really solid it, it's very good it's very good these rares are really nice so far those yeah. are three decent rares in a row really flavorful um, i like it yep drown yard behemoth oh wait what what is this doing in here the fuck that's not supposed to be there oh i put the wrong card in this list whoops Hang on. <laughs> I downloaded every single card from the... Uh, uh, fuck. I have to find it now. I downloaded every single card from the Wizards website. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> and put them into a bunch of different files and had it so that I could just fa like click through them all. Oh, um, gotcha. Because I was tired of having to da like get them in real time, and it was like really annoying. So let me mm -hmm. find this one. Distended mind bender. Oi. Extended mind bender. Let's see here. There we go. Let's Dusk see. Feaster. Let's see. Save. Yeah, why don't you talk about Dusk Feaster while I All work right. on this? Four, five, for seven. All right. It costs two less to cast if there are four or more card types in your graveyard. So if you have Delirium, it's two less. So it's a great rate. All right. So it's a four, five, hopefully, for five mana. It has flying. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, in a Delirium deck, this is going to be a great card. This is a payoff card for sure. Um, I want a lot of green vessels. So how is this going to break down this set? It's going to be two of the new set and one of one Two of the Jadis. new set, one of the old set, yep. yep. So less less green vessels. Definitely. Um, but there are a lot of especially blue cards that help enable Delirium. Um, there's some green sweet. cards, too, that do it. Like, black doesn't have a lot that enables Delirium that I've seen. But they have a lot of the reward for it, so I feel like blue, black, and blue, gr and black green are like the better combos. But I don't know mm -hmm. yet. Obviously, this is all theory crafting. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. Um, this is a B for me. Sort by name. Yeah, I think it's a B yeah, for me. I, I agree. I think this is about a B. I mean, four or five bodies just it's that's that's a big flyer. That's a big flyer. And if you can cast this on turn five, I mean the game's, I mean the game's gonna end real quick. So for me, it's a B. You don't want too many, though. Do you know the wine openers? Wine opener. Let's see. Nope, not that one. Thanks. Organized. That one I can delete. <laughs> Got it. This one will open. Here we go. I love the art. It's so cool. Yeah, I think they did really well with the art this set. Okay. Um, next one Distended Mindbender. So Distended Mindbender is 8 mana for a 5-5, five five, uh, but it has emerged for 5 black black. And when you cast it, oh god, this card's such a blowout. Target opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose from it a non-land with a converted mana cost 3 or less, and a card with converted, ma converted mana cost 4 or greater, and that player discards those cards. <laughs> it's absurd. This format seems a little bomby to me. That's, this is an Just absurd card. Yeah, this, this is... Really, really good. Oh, yeah. This should be a rare. Whoops. Uh, what to say about this? I mean, a 5-5 five five is a really good body. Like, if this was on a 3-3, three three, I think it'd be good. Hmm. But the fact that it's a 5-5, five five, like, it takes whatever they have. It doesn't matter how expensive it is unless it's, like, I don't know, Westdale Abbey. They can't take a Westdale Abbey. <laughs> but that's going to be on the field. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, this. I, I'm just thinking about all the crazy things you could do with this card. Um, I mean, it. we're just calling this an A, right? This is absurd. It's a pretty good card, I mean. It does require some setup. But... It's a little It's a little setup. I, I think any card that requires setup, I don't think it... I, I don't know the rating system, but I don't think it could be an A. I think it's an A- minus because a minus? of the setup. But yeah, yeah that's I mean, weird. if you cast no, this I think card, you're probably winning the game, but... Yeah. Card... Is and I mean, and also a five-five is not like impossible to beat. No, like, definitely late, not. In limited later in the game, they might have nothing in their hands, so it's just a five-five for a lot. I mean, it's true, but you could cast this on turn four. Yeah, I know it's stupid. <laughs> if it's if it's in your opener, this card's absurd. Yeah, you could cast this on turn four after playing that stupid du thing that draws you a card. Double transgress the mind, like have a five. It's ridiculous. Not even double. Tra it's better than double transgress it's the way mind. Way better. I know. <laughs> get 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 rid of the thing that you're gonna kill me with, and the thing yeah. that cheap removal. Yeah, it's, it's too good, too good. Anyways. Why, why don't I wish this card said? I wish it didn't say three or less. I wish it just said less than three, greater, than, greater four. than four. And three is fine. That would be really tricky, yeah. I like that. that that'd be sweet, because then they're going to get to keep that purge, and you're like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the reverse blowout. Yeah, the reverse blowout. Yeah. Okay, Gavany Unhallowed. Back to commons. Back to the land of commons. So whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it's a two four for four mana. Um, well, if you get one plus one plus one counter on it, it's suddenly pretty good, right? I think this card's great. Yeah. Like, you only need to get one thing in the yard, like one thing to die, for this to be a 3-5 for four mana, which is This card's nice. great. And it's a zombie. This card's great. Yep. I think this, that this, this is, is a, a B minus, B? I'm, I'm going to give it a, yeah, a B, B to B plus. I mean... Mm, that's a little... That's pretty high. 
Well, think about how many two fours you like you played in the last set, and those yeah. were like those were like B minuses.